Yep, you read that title correctly. AMC CEO Adam Aaron, one of the kings of playing the meme stock game, has announced that they are buying a material stake in Highcroft Mining. Crypto mining? No, that might actually make sense. Literal gold mining. Just think of all the wonderful synergies. Anyway, in this video, we're going to quickly break down the deal and why, as crazy as it sounds, this will probably work out pretty well for AMC. So let's get into it. To start, Highcroft is a tiny gold and silver mining operation. Offices are located in Denver, but the company's sole mine is located in Nevada. And this isn't a fake pump and dump, the company does actually have a proper mine, and it has actually pulled ore from the ground. Although, like, not very much of it, and not in a while. The company started as Allied Nevada Gold Corp in 2006, and operated until 2015 when, after, you know, not making any money, they declared Chapter 11. Mining continued through the restructuring until 2017, later emerging as Highcraft Mining like a semi-solvent phoenix from the restructuring ashes. A June 2020 acquisition by Mudra Capital Acquisition Corp, a blank check acquisition company, purchased the business and recapitalized it. Just prior to the deal, a third-party feasibility study contracted by the company indicated a 2.1 billion life of mine net present value, and a 2.6 year payback period on the new planned operations. Not exactly a bag of hammers here. AMC isn't doing this one on its own. They're teamed up with Canadian billionaire Eric Sprott, something of a legend in the mining world and a very active player in the junior mining space. Both players have identical packages, with them each respectively paying $27.9 million in exchange for 23.4 million units in the deal. Each of these units contains one share and one warrant, and these warrants are exercisable at $1.068 and have a 5 year term. So why this deal? Well, for all his many talents, I don't think a guy who makes most of his money upselling popcorn and soda pop woke up one day and decided geological speculation is the logical next step for AMC's future. To say we live in weird times is an understatement. With spare time retail investors being raised to messianic status, $6 billion bidding wars for bankrupt rental car companies, and literally most of what Elon says publicly. So a theater operator diversifying into gold mining just seems like a sign of the times, but it's actually a new take on an old playbook. Whether it's a new fund offering favorable terms to a big name anchor investor to lend credibility, or a startup coughing up a ton of shares to fill out a prestigious board to look legitimate. Throughout history, it's fairly commonplace to, for lack of a more suitable word, bribe the respected and trusted in order to make one's cause look that much more legitimate. Hell, Warren Buffett made a lucrative business of selling legitimacy to companies in exchange for sweet deal terms. Perhaps the best known of these was during the financial crisis, when the Oracle of Omaha was approached by Goldman to purchase a minority stake. The terms were extremely one-sided for Buffett, but it was worth it for Goldman to allay investor fears. I mean, if the greatest investor of all time is buying, obviously the business is sound, right? Adam Aaron's process here is just a modern extension for our times. Does the deal make Highcroft more legitimate in the eyes of professional mining investors? No, not really. But overnight, he just turned a no-name, semi-solvent hole in the desert into a meme stock with millions of retail investors taking note. And he's getting paid well for his trouble. There was a spike in volume and a nice pop to the shares when the deal was announced. This, following what was likely a bit of, well, the technical term is trading on material non-public information, a pretty common feature in the junior mining world. With the share price now at $1.37, his shiny new 23.4 million shares are worth $32.1 million, and his 23.4 million warrants, which are now 30 cents in the money, have an intrinsic value of $7.1 million, for a combined position intrinsic value of $39.1 million. That works out to a one day net gain of 11.2 million bucks, or put differently, a one day return of 40.1%. Cowabunga. And quickly, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below for more entertaining takes on the business world and financial markets. I'm just starting out, so it really helps to get some momentum for the channel. Okay, back at it. Now, I don't have a crystal ball, but if I had to make some assumptions, then no, I don't think AMC is gonna be the next Barrick or Gold Corp, but, Assuming Adam Aaron maintains his reputation as a retail meme stock white knight, we could see a lot more of these periphery deals coming AMC's way. For example, I highly doubt Mr. Aaron came up with this brilliant plan on his own. The SPAC that bought Highcroft back in 2020, Mudrick Capital Acquisition Corp, is controlled by Jason Mudrick. For people who followed the AMC story closely, you might remember him as one of the few institutional players who played the rally, and quite profitably so. My guess is Mr. Mudrick knew a stamp of approval from the kingmaker at AMC could do wonders for the lagging gold company he owns 40% of. And they weren't just paying AMC so that they could get a pop in the shares. No, the AMC Eric Sprott news comes in tandem with a much larger deal, as on the same day, they also announced a $500 million capital raise. Seems like a no-brainer to me, 
Gift Adam Aaron a few million warrants, and in exchange you get to issue half a billion shares up here, instead of down here. Legality and morality aside, it's a win-win. And since we're being all conspiratorial, Eric Spot isn't getting his hands on this sweetheart deal just for being a nice guy. He's also their largest creditor. Thick as thieves. So, while this is the first such foray out of the cinema for AMC, I would expect them to get a lot more calls like the one they did from the likes of Jason Mudrick. With everyone from distressed retailers to crypto miners hoping to have their hats thrown into the ring in hopes of meme stock stardom. Alright, so that's my quick update on the AMC Highcroft deal. I hope you found it interesting, and if you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more informative and hopefully entertaining financial content. I'm Ryan, and thanks for tuning into Market Lab.